Any question about how to do the solo one? Yes. Yes. You need a mic so we can all hear you. On the website, it said you could put it in plastic after I, you've I, done after it. you make it, yes. And you could pour it in your bathtub and yeah. water your plants and yeah. brush your teeth. Yeah. What happens is, if, is the way we do it at our house, because we drink gallons of it every day, is we have, we have several gallons of water that we've taken out of the tap. So all I do is just do one bottle, and I take, I take one, I drop, put one drop in each, and then the whole stuff will be solarized. All it needs is one drop. Yeah. So if my grandchildren come and visit me, <laughs> visit me, um, you know, they take they take they take baths. I mean, by the tons. You know? When you have teenagers, wow, they're always taking a bath. You know, you so you, they know how to use the solar water. Just just put one drop in the bathtub. Yeah. You have coffee, one drop. You eat ice cream, one drop. Yeah. I, I have a grandson who who loves ice cream, um, just one drop. Yeah. Yeah. So it, so you can use this in any way. There there isn't there isn't nothing. Whatever you use water for, you can use it for. Yeah. Okay. Now you're clear now because I'm never going to come back to this. You know? I'm, yeah. Can you put it in before you cook? Or would it I'm change? I'm sorry? If I were to put a drop of water and I were to cook something, would it make that water dis... If you, the water is solar, it you, all it requires is one drop in anything. Oh, anything. It doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Divinity just makes it easy, you know. As, as the old Hawaiian saying going, easy does it. Easy. <laughs> so any questions about this? I can let this go. Okay. Somebody's calling me. We're okay. All right. Raise your hand. <laughs> the invisible lady. <laughs> okay. So we've got we got the hall. <clears throat> we got the hall in there, and we got the Y. Uh, and I'm going to take you to that, and Y. E. So now all you have to do is say Hawaii, and that's the cleaning process. So ha means the breath of the divine, water means the, the water of the divine. So now you got a double combination when you say the word ha wa e or ha va e. So before I enter the room, I will say ha va e so that I get cleaned up and I come in peace. If I'm going to eat anything, ha va e. If I'm going to pick the telephone, the telephone rings, Hawaii. I'm never going to listen to something on the phone without cleaning. After I put it down, Hawaii. So you're not stuck with that data that plays somebody's annoyed and irritable. So as you put it down, I'm saying Hawaii. So any questions about the use of Hawaii? Yeah, me too. It's easy. Come to me as a child, God said. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take you to the breathing um, process. You have to have both feet on the floor. So we, when we breathe, we're going to breathe from Mother Earth too. We want you back up against, gently against the chair, because we breathe. We're going to breathe for family, relatives, and ancestors. We want to we want to breathe and go back and hunt down any any error, so that our children's children's children will not be stuck with it. Okay. So we got both feet on the floor, back to your side. And then what you want to do is here is the here's you. This is the pointing finger. You know how you always your mother goes. Yeah. My mother was very good at it. Yeah, and then and then you got your thumb, which is the e, which is the e in Hawaii. Without your thumb, you'd be you'd have a hell of a time trying to do anything. So now, excuse me, I'm going to give you my my pointing finger. Yeah. So the pointing finger represents politics. This is a politic that says you got to do it this way. You cannot do it this way. So what you do is you're going to combine it and then make a figure eight. See, this is a figure eight, and then just drop it in your lap, pointing to 
these fingers like that and drop it in your lap. Okay? So I would like for you to close your eyes. This is the political finger. This is the pointing finger. You're combining them because you want to make sure you're going to be one with divinity. Then you do it. Figure eight. Infinity sign. See? Yeah. So now when we do the breathing, divinity is going to go, well, just go deep in our soul and just look for the data to clean. Since there are many of you, more data will get clean. Okay? So now you have it in your lap. So if you would close your eyes and just listen. I will walk you through one round. So you're going to breathe through your nose. That's number one. Not through your mouth. Why to my nose, Dr. Yulen? The reason why is a higher level of consciousness. <clears throat> so as you breathe in, <clears throat> breathe in, it's going to be a natural breathing. So you breathe in gently, and in your mind you're counting up to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or however you count, everybody will have its own rhythm. So you breathe in, and you're counting to seven, and then you hold for seven counts. And then you exhale for seven counts. As you're exhaling, you're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to hold for seven counts. That's one round. I'm going to go over it again. You, you breathe in for seven counts, hold for seven counts, exhale for seven counts, hold for seven counts. That's one round. I would like for you to do nine rounds. <clears throat> and when you're done, if you would open your eyes, please. Ho'oponopono. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. If you haven't heard of it, brace yourself, because it's the most powerful, the most transformational, the most magical, the most miraculous technique I've ever come across. I'm Dr. Joe Vitale. I've written 80 books. I've recorded 15 albums. I have 200-some products. I have a coaching program, certification programs. But nothing ever has had the impact in my life as Ho'oponopono has. I've been teaching it to other people since around 2005. There is great depth to it, though it's very simple. On the very superficial level, there's really only four phrases, and you're kind of saying them as a quiet prayer or petition. But there's so much more to it than that. And what I really want you to do is check it out. I want you to check it out for you, your family, your friends, and ultimately for the world. It's that powerful. And as I like to say, expect miracles.